let us discuss about differences between reflection and total internal reflection let us discuss about them see reflection and total internal reflection what are the differences between them observe here consider a mirror a mirror is required for reflection that means it is having a smooth polished surface because of this smooth polished surface reflection can takes place okay next total internal reflection it requires it is it requires a denser medium and a rarer medium which means that this denser medium is a glass slab this is a glass slab so it's need it need not require any smooth surface uh, at the same time it's not required any polished smooth surface okay next observe this if you incident an array on this one that means if we incident a ray on the mirror it gets reflected like this like this okay this is a reflection of light and this is called normal the per the perpendicular line down to the surface of a plane mirror is called normal okay this, this is incident ray incident ray this is reflected ray because of the smooth polished surface reflection can take place okay so this angle is called incident angle and this angle is called refracted angle the angle between normal and incident ray is called incident angle the angle between ref reflected ray and normal is called reflected angle okay so this is point of incidence so so what is the difference between them in the reflection it is passes from rarer medium to denser medium here the light ray passes towards denser medium it means it passes from rarer to denser medium then reflection can take place observe in case of total internal reflection this is a normal this is perpendicular to the plane of surface okay so this is called normal if a light ray passes from denser medium to this is denser medium slab glass slab this is glass so this denser medium to rarer medium it gets reflected it means it deviates towards the same medium like this when it is deviated like this that means when it is deviated to the same medium when the ray of light travel from denser medium to rarer medium when angle of incidence is greater than critical angle then the ray deviates towards the same medium so this is called total internal reflection this is incident ray and this is reflected ray in denser medium okay this is called total internal reflection here no need of smooth surface and here the angle of incidence should be more than critical angle the ray should passes through the denser medium to rarer medium it is required here in case of total internal reflection and in case of reflection some rays are absorbed by the reflecting material but in case of total internal reflection no rays are observed okay see the differences between them first one smooth polished surface is required for reflection this is a smooth polished surface no smooth polished surface is required for the total internal reflection it requires only denser medium and rarer medium next the light should passes through the rarer medium to denser medium then the reflection takes place okay and in case of total internal reflection the light should passes through the denser medium to rarer medium then total internal reflection can takes place okay next in case of reflection all angle of incidence the reflection can takes place 
for all angle of incidence. That means if you change the incident angle, then the reflection will take place. So for all angles, the reflection will take place. Okay. Next, in case of total internal reflection, the reflection, total internal reflection can take place when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. Then total internal reflection takes place. Next, some rays are observed by the reflecting material. Here it is reflecting material. That means mirror. It is mirror. Some rays are observed by the, this reflecting material. But no rays are observed in case of total internal reflection. That means some rays are passes through the denser medium to rarer medium. All rays get reflected. Okay. These are the differences for reflection and total internal reflection. Here the important thing is the angle of interest is greater than critical angle. Critical angle means if a ray passes from denser medium to rarer medium for which the angle of incidence the reflected ray will passes parallel to the surface of the denser medium and the angle between the reflected ray the angle between the reflected ray and normal is 90 degrees so when the, the angle between the reflected ray and normal is 90 degrees then it is, then the incident angle is called critical angle